Hey guys, Adam, Adam's Aquatics. Uh, newest filter. I've just got myself another fish tank. I'm not sure what I'm getting myself into. This uh, hobby seems to be addictive. Um, I've just got a 90 litre. It's not massive. Um, I'm thinking about putting in, having it as a, um, a barb tank. So loads of different tiger barbs, something like that. I'm not sure yet, we'll have a look. Um, but this is the 305 that I'm going to be using. Um, it's a fairly old one, but it's in reasonable condition. I'm going to give it a clean and see what it's like. I think it's been used for marine or they've had a sandy substrate because there's a lot of sand in the bottom. But we'll get rid of that. <clears throat> in it, they were using, I'm not sure what media that is, but by the looks of things, there's Alpha Grog in the bottom. Um, I'm not going to use any of this. I'm going to dispose of all this. I've got fresh Alpha Grog, um, which I'm going to use myself. I picked it up from one of my local um, fish shops, and it was £19 for 15 kilo, I think it was, uh, which wasn't too bad. So we'll um, put all that together. I've also instead of buying the filters the fluval ones because they're expensive I've got three different media courses uh, I think I've already got a, a, a really coarse media to go in that one for my mechanical and then in these three I might use the bottom tray and then keep the other two for the alpha grog possibly I'm not sure yet. <laughs> we'll see how, how this lot goes. Um, but I think that was something like eight quid for the three sheets. And then even if it was for that, one, two, I could get possibly three lots of filters out of that one, which I thought was pretty good. Uh, it might not be. You could probably find it cheaper online, but I like to support the local, my local fish shops. I think it's, it's essential that they're there, so I'd rather buy from them than off the internet, even if it does save me a few quid. I like the idea of being able to go out and have a look and a touch and a feel with all the different products that's that's on the market, um, just so I know what, what I'm buying, really. Yes, there are some things I buy online, but most of it I'd rather just buy from a local shop. It gives me an hour to go out and look at fish and different products, tanks and all that, even though I've looked at it 20 times. But... Uh, this is what we're going to get started on in a minute. I'll uh, quickly show you the tank. So this being the newest tank, um, it's about 90 litres. I think it was used for marine before. Um, I have found them online. I might get some spares for it, I'm not sure yet. I might, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one yet. It's all right. Just filled it up just to make sure that it, there's no leaks from it. it seems pretty solid there's no water coming out anywhere which is always a good sign um oh sorry excuse my fingers <clears throat> it's got a plastic base on it it seems sturdy enough it's not going to cause any problems i don't think uh we've already got the filter for it um i've got at the moment the fresh tube that's going in there i'm just attaching some clips to the lid um, but i've got some leds coming for this one as well so i'm, I'm probably not going to use the fluorescent tube um, but what I might do is I might mount both in there at least then I can see which one gives me the better light of the two and then make a decision from there I don't know I'm I'm so indecisive when it comes to tanks it's more of a see what I like at the time and then go for it but it's right and then um, update on the bigger tank it's uh, coming along nicely still waiting for the ammonias to uh, to come up I'm doing it as a fishless cycle and uh, testing every every sort of three or four days. Um, I have got my test results, which I've done this morning. Uh, ammonia is uh, pretty much zero at the moment. Nitrites also zero. Uh, nitrates have just started. Um, the way I can see it, I'm going to go with. Put this up in the light because it's deceiving otherwise. Uh, oh god, trying to do this one handed. There we go. 10.0 possibly. 
don't quite think it's up to 20 so I'm going to do a small water change I'm going to do that one a little bit later on and then I also done the pH of the water uh, and you can see that that is also a little high for my liking but it's within the range so maybe a water change might bring that down my, my tap water comes out at around 7 so it's it's pretty good around here it's not it's not a problem um, and then I've got one more thing to show you this was going to be a um, a shrimp tank uh, unfortunately I've got a poorly fish uh, if you can see in there just see on the side of his gills he was attacked by some neons in another another tank so he's had to go on this one I know it's not ideal it's not big enough really <clears throat> um, but I've used a, a, a sponge filter from another tank which was already uh, cycled and he, to be fair his colors have come out and if you can see him properly but his colors on his tail have come out awesome and he looks absolutely gorgeous and he seems to be pretty happy in there um, I'm testing the water on this one daily just so I know that it's okay for him um, and the grass hasn't really taken hold too much but yeah it's looking pretty good at the moment and he seems to be happy so coming back to the filter this is what I'm going to be doing today this is today's task um, I want all of this cleared cleaned ready to go I'm hoping you can see everything if I leave that just like that is that going to show you enough yeah it should do I'll uh, So that's, uh, that's how I do that, I don't have to say that, just the wind's off, doesn't need much else, I'm, just have to go I'm hoping that's enough to do two, maybe three trays, but that'll be that, that's that one done. Alright, okay, right. so I spent a bit of time uh, just going through how I'm going to do this. Uh, obviously with the Fluval 305 it comes with the initial um, initial tray that goes that's like the first part of the filtration which I'm going to use mechanical and then it comes with three of the trays. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to use two trays for biological and then I'm going to use one of the trays and the first one as a mechanical. Um, I'm not 100% sure of my reasons behind this, um, but I just, something I want to try. I've seen other people do it, and I thought, well, let's have a go and see what it comes out like. So, what I've done um, on these, this is my coarse filter. Um, it's the ones with the bobbly heads on it, all the way through, it's got the extra texture on it. So that give you a better surface area as the water flows through. Um, obviously, water coming in. Hang on, if I sit that one back in, the other side. <clears throat> so that one goes in there. Water then fills in from this end and goes straight down. Uh, and it covers both sides, and then obviously underneath through that little hole there, and then into the rest of the media. So these these compartments are slightly different to the other side. So with my media, I've cut. Two different sizes 
back with my media with my um, net in. So that one is just going to go in there. That one fits in nicely there. And then on the other side, oops, that one goes in like so. Um, I cut these with a pair of scissors, nothing special. I literally just put this over the top and trace over it. Um, obviously, it's inside the filter, so as long as it's in nice and snug and it works as it should, there's no really need for it to be perfect. Um, the more you watch my videos, the more you see that it is a case of use what you've got and what you know and put it together. Right, so that's my first stage complete. <clears throat> Second one. Um, I've got three different courses. Course, working my way down through the fines. All right. So obviously the water is going to come up through the filter. So I want to stick with the course on the bottom. So those go in there. Once again, I just trace around it um, and then cut it to fit. Uh, and then the blue one is the is the most course. So white next. Obviously, depending on where you buy yourself from, depends on the colour of your filters. But they all do the same jobs. And then the blue one in. All right, so that's my mechanical filtration complete. That's all I'm going to do. That is it. I'm not going to add anything. I'm not going to change anything. That is just that's just done. The way that I understand that it works is with your with a nitro nitrogen cycle. You use the mechanical to take away the the large particles in the water bits of dead plant and feces or anything else that's floating that you don't want to go through and then you use your biological which is where your um, bacteria starts to grow um, so that's the bit you want last uh, so over here I should have enough making sure that it's not protruding at the top because obviously they all sit on top of each other and you're obviously gonna lose the flow if they don't sit right so perfect first one done that one then drops in over the top of the foams like so one pops on the top make sure you put your lid on you have to make sure that lid goes on guys otherwise they don't work very well trust me I've tried it before and I got something caught in the impeller and it it all went terribly wrong so that one goes on like that and then put on the top Oops, trying to do this one handed again you get the gist of that obviously they clip on and that does that and that is my filtration done and ready to go um, like I said before I don't know a great deal about the filtration system only what I've read and what other people have told me I'm still learning if you've got any hints tips improvements something else I could try um, let me know obviously put your reasons why it's always nice to have an exp explanation why if somebody does does something or changes stuff up um, but this one's going to be a fresh cycle uh, my last tank was a fishless cycle, but I'm going to use this one's going to be 
Uh, I'm going to put ammonia, do it as a fishless, but I'm going to buy ammonia for this one. I'm going to try and speed this one up a little bit. I'd like this one set up a bit sooner. But what I will do is once, once I've got this one set up uh, and we've got the water in the tank, the filter's on and running, I'll, uh, I might do a video on how I test my water and I'll, I'll show you what my water coming out at the, at the tap is like as well. Um, <clears throat> because my water's pretty good as an initial straight from the tap. Uh, but hopefully this one, now that we've got this set up properly, this should work a treat. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, if you want to see more and you want to be notified, make sure you like uh, and hit the subscribe button at the top of the screen. And thank you very much for watching. Thanks, guys.